Hey, Margie here. Are you ready to learn how you can significantly improve your health, your bones with castor oil? Well, if you are, then you are in the right place because our very special guest today is Dr. Marisol Tejero. And she's also known as the queen of the thrones. She's a world leader renowned for empowering people to improve their digestion and gut health by unlocking secrets found in the number one product our body produces, our stools. Her life's mission is for the billions of people around the world, both healthy and suffering from digestive issues like constipation, bloating, gas, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and more to understand the inner workings of their bodies. She's the founder and clinical director of Sonus Health Practice, where she's helped thousands of patients live happy, healthy lives. She teaches at the Canadian College of Naturopathic Medicine. She appears as a guest on TV and podcasts and speaks all around the world. Her passion and first visit prescription is castor oil and castor oil packs. She shares in today's interview, cutting edge tips and techniques that are scientifically supported, clinically practiced and historically honored. And this interview was originally for the happiness challenge. And I got so many responses and positive feedback. And the information that's presented is so important for our liver, for inflammation, all things that significantly impact bone health that I absolutely wanted to share it with all of you. So stay tuned. Welcome, Dr. Marisol. I am really, really excited to have you here. I guess it was around two years ago, the two of us were speaking at Mindshare on the, I think it was called the Future of Health program. And oh my gosh, I was in stitches. You had such an important topic to present, but you were so much fun. And I think I've loved you from that minute on, but I'm really excited because you have an important message and you're just such a fun person. So welcome. Oh, Margie, you're such a doll. Thank you so much. Yeah. I remember us connecting and, you know, for me, I believe I've, I've been placed here on this earth for a grand mission as we all are, right? Every single one of us has a grand mission. I think I've been fortunate to be able to connect to it and to be able to kind of, you know, find my way through, through the, the, the shadows and the darkness. And I'm really feeling that I'm, I'm bringing my light to this world. And I think I, I, I feel you're doing the exact same thing too. So it's pretty awesome that we found each other. Oh, well, thanks. You really are bringing your light. So I already feel it, which is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, you know what? Before we get started, why don't you tell everyone about your story? Because I really believe that, we have, that everyone will have a better understanding of why you're so passionate about this topic and how you got to be doing be called the queen of the throne. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, as with all missions and, and the, the, the moment of culmination, you know, they start in very tragic places. And, you know, for me, it started with a childhood that was really just, just plagued with sickness and ill health and problems with going to the bathroom and diarrhea, constipation, frequent infections. I felt like I was always at home. My mother was always at home taking care of me. And it was a real struggle, right? That childhood, like I really felt it was very, very difficult. And as I got older, you know, hormones started to change. I, I, I didn't get any better. <laughs> In fact, if anything, I just kept on getting worse. And it was a, a, a moment to moment problem where I just felt like, how was I going to get out of this darkness and into the light? And my darkness was truly within my gut because I really never ever felt good in my gut. I felt I would eat things and I would just always feel worse and worse and worse and was never really having good times in my, in my body. And it got to the point for me where, you know, I was, I was, I was a, a young adult. I was trying to, you know, cover up the pains that I had in my body with things like um, smoking, food, candy in specific. I had this major addiction to hard candy, which I would chew on, which actually ended up like wrecking my entire mouth. Like I've, I've been working for the past five years in free construction of my teeth, if you, if, if you believe this. And, but it was because I was trying to feel better because I was constantly in my day-to-day -day just not feeling well. And, you know, 
throughout all that, I had this beautiful mother who was a, a ray of sunshine, and I'd have to say an angel, who really kept me positive and kept me moving forward despite what I was dealing with, right? Which was life, you know, no different than other people. You know, we all, each and every one of us is really struggling in our day to day and trying to get to the other side of that, right? I, I now look at it like I was deep in pain island and that I was trying to find my way to Pleasure Island, right? And the way that I was finding my way to Pleasure Island really wasn't in always the best ways, right? So I got to the point in my health, I was diagnosed with PCOS. I had, you know, thyroid problems, you know, IBS was my last diagnosis. And I remember clearly that day when I was with the doctor and, you know, he's like, you've got IBS. He's like, I'm sorry for their, your luck. There's nothing that we can do for you. And, you know, that moment, my heart sank, my, my soul sank. I was so scared. I was scared of the future. I was scared of what, what was to be, you know, like where, like, where was I going to find myself? Was I constantly going to be living in this land of, you know, unhappiness and struggle and challenges and, you know, running to the bathroom or maybe not going to the bathroom and feeling sick. And, you know, my, my biggest symptom is when I was constipated, I would have massive anxiety because I don't know if people know about this, but <clears throat> uh, you know, a common uh, or, or a common yet unknown symptom of constipation is serious anxiety. And anxiety rips and strips you of your happiness, of your wholeness, of, of everything that makes you feel good in life. And so I remember getting to one of these points and just being like fed up and tired of it all. And just, I decided to go back to naturopathic to school to become a naturopathic doctor because I said, you know, here I have been, you know, working in health food stores, working in the natural health industry, going to doctors, trying to get help, and no one has been able to help me. And so this is it. This is my time. Now I'm going to become the doctor and I'm going to change things. And so I, I went to become the doctor. And what I really delved within was that what I really wanted to know was I wanted to learn how to know myself. As the great Greek doctors say, know thyself. <clears throat> that was my mission. That was, that was my two words on my scoreboard that said everything that I was going to be learning. And so I delved into the things that we had the capability to learn about. <clears throat> and the number one most important thing that I realized that was easy to assess and easy to see was what came out in the toilet, which was our poop, <laughs> right? <laughs> and, and that, you know, our poop was the number one thing that I really wanted people to connect with immediately. And I, that, because I learned how to connect to my body with that, that was my very first step because it allowed me a window into my gut health. And when I started assessing it and really looking at it, I got a, such a good understanding. And this is still amongst the times when my guts still weren't happy, they still weren't healthy. And then I got into my third year and I had a major crash again. So this crash really reminded me of those sicknesses that I had in my childhood when I was at home for months on end with my mother. And, you know, my mother was, you know, ironically, you know, in, in grade six, I remember my mom teaching me like a grade three university course in music because she was just trying to figure out ways that I could expand my world and not be just so stuck in, and, and losing myself, right, in the sickness. <clears throat> and in this third year of naturopathic college, I got so sick that I was unable to get out of bed. And I remember calling my little angel my mother and calling her and, and, and you know, devastated me and, and calling her and crying and being like, mom, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish my last school, my last year of school, right? Because I was so sick. And my mom in her, in her, her godliness, right? I just feel she is such a God and such a gift to me. She said to me, you know, there are times in our lives where we need to take the time to heal. And this is the time in your life where you need to take the time to heal. Those words ringed deep in my soul. And what they made me realize was this, was that here I was doing everything right according to everyone outside of me. I was taking the right supplements. I was eating the right foods. I was doing the right thing. But what I wasn't doing was I wasn't addressing the stress in my life. I wasn't addressing that massive amounts of inflammation that I was dealing with because my life had become a stressful mess. And then almost as if out of the blue, a memory came back to me, a memory about castor oil packs. I had been working in the natural health industry before starting even naturopathic college for about, I believe, eight to 10 years prior. And 
every single person I talked to about my problems told me to do one simple thing, the castor oil pie. And I had ignored it. I had, you know, oh, I don't want to do that thing. It's just too messy. Forget about it. What's the point? But something about it coming back into my memory when I was so devastatingly sick made me think, you know, there might be something to this. There might be something, there might be maybe something, someone's trying to show me a sign for me to have seen it all throughout my life, including through naturopathic college where, you know, at the end of every condition, they would say, and do a castor oil pack. And so what I realized was this, was that, you know, it was my time to do a castor oil pack. I was doing everything else right, but I still wasn't doing that. So then I went and I sewed my very first castor oil pack and I wore it. And when I put it on, I realized why, because for me, it was kind of like that moment in the Bible where it's like the, 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 the sky opens up and the angels begin to sing. It was that moment where I felt peace. I felt serenity. I felt well. I felt whole. I felt like the way that I should feel. And what I ended up doing is creating my very first, you know, castor oil pack. Now we have the queen of the throws castor oil pack in the modern version, you know, 11, 12 years later. And you know, what it did for me is I, I, I did it as a ritual. Every single night, I would do that castor oil pack. And every single night, it would be an opportunity and a moment to internalize and to go inwards and to heal. <clears throat> and it was as though my mom's words rang in my ears. There's times in our lives where we have to go internal and we have to shut down in order for us to heal. And so what I did was I took this castor oil pack <clears throat> every night as my moment to go internally and to heal. And so I would wear it to go to bed at night. I would sleep so deeply. And then that was my road to recovery. And that's since that moment in time, I've never really had a, a, a breakdown or a, a, a backwards fall so deep as I had throughout my entire history of my life. In fact, right now in my health, I'm, I'm healthier than I ever was in my twenties, in my forties. And it's all because I started doing that simple ritual of going internally, of sitting, sitting with my castor oil pack and taking care of myself and allowing that space for healing overnight. And so here I am today with that. <laughs> oh, I love the story. And there's so many elements of it that just are, are so special. Number one, taking the time for yourself. How often that's something that you know, I always talk about. It's so important to just stop and just do things to quiet down and just give yourself that space and time. But, and it's only a few minutes. That's the incredible thing. But the other thing is that castor oil is something that's easy to do in the way you've created, which is really amazing because I have to be honest with you, as a physical therapist and integrated health coach, there are often times where I would really think and patients were like, oh no, too messy, too messy, too messy. And I think that was always what was really so standoffish about that treatment. But you've really devised something, and you'll have to show everybody, that yeah. makes it that it's doable. But that's what I wanted you to share because this has major, major benefits. And Ooh. digestion is such an important piece because we want ourselves to feel happy. But yet, if we have digestive issues, yes, like you can be happy, but you work really hard. It's so much nicer when you heal your body and then you can also feel good. So I think it goes both ways, right? That, you know, if, you, um, if your cells aren't happy, you're not going to be as happy. But then we can talk about this happiness also affects your gut health. So it sort oh. of goes both ways. So why don't you tell us about why and what this castor oil is doing that's so magical and that can really help us? Amazing. You know, one of the Greek doctors, the originator of the Hipp Hippocratic Oath, of course, we all know, um, you know, it's the oath that all the doctors say, um, Hippocrates, he said, you know, health begins in the gut, in digestion. And my, my favorite saying, or I guess what I'm quoted for in my book is this, is that, you know, digestion isn't merely just about digesting the food that we eat, but it's actually how we are digesting our lives on a regular basis. And then of course, you know, the signal is of course our stools. So we see from our stools, how we're digesting our life. If our stools are haywire, we're constipated, we're not going to the bathroom. Well then of course, you know, everything is off with our lives. And I really, really want to emphasize this to everyone is this, is that you know, as Hippocrates said, his words are true today. Like all health begins in the gut. So no matter what condition you're dealing with, whether it was like, look at my case, like I was dealing with hormonal issues, PCOS, thyroid conditions. I was dealing with, you know, constipation, diarrhea, all the all IBS, like our classic di IBS, you know, all of these things were originating in my gut. And, you know, for other people, it may be acne, it may be another hormonal condition, maybe estrogen dominance, maybe problems with their breasts, maybe it's endometriosis 
endometriosis, maybe it's fibroid cysts, whatever the case may be, menopause, it, it matters not. What matters is that the origin is within the gut. And so that means that we have to treat the origin and we have to work on the origin and make that hole and center. I love how, you know, words, you know, in the Bible, there's a, 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 in John, the first chapter of John, it's like, in the beginning was the word. And what I love is how our words symbolize what is going on in our bodies. Like if you look, everyone knows the region of the solar plexus, plex, plexus in the body, right? The solar plexus is right here, right? And solar, solar in Latin is sun, right? So it's the sunshine, right? So, so you think about it. If, if, if you have sunshine in your life automatically, we all know when you step outside in the sunshine, what happens is we're happy. So it's the same thing with our guts. When we have the sun in our lives, the sun in our guts, the solar plexus is working well, well, then we have good digestion. We have good stools. We feel good. We feel better. So you... And as I said earlier, remember my, the common unknown symptom of constipation, anxiety. Anxiety is a state where we feel absolutely the opposite of having sunshine in our lives. We feel as if we're, we're covered in darkness. We're in the deepest, darkest cave. We are hidden from, from our true selves. There's no light in our lives. And, and that is a manifestation of when our guts are not working well. So there's so many in, in, intimate con, connections between our gut and our happiness and our soul and our emotions. And so we want to use our gut health as a way to guide because ultimately, Ultimately, you know, we can try to work our soul, we could try to work our spiritual practices, but the thing that is easiest, easiest for us to work is actually our physicality, because it's something that we feel. We feel it with all of our senses, right? We don't really feel our soul or our spirit. The only way that we do, for an example, feel our spirit is this, you know, spirit breathes us. Spirit, spirit can blow and awaken us. And you know how we feel it in our bodies? It's when we get like actual like goosebumps. That's spirit talking to us. But we're not so in tune to that. What we're in tune to is our physical problems, our guts, our diarrhea, our constipation, our gas, our bloating, how our body's simply not working. And what I loved about castor oil packs was this, was that castor oil packs covered the foundation of health and healing. And if, if what Hippocrates said was true, that all health begins in the gut, well, then the castor oil pack, this is a pack that comes and supports the entire foundation and heals the gut. So it does so via five different ways. And I love using the acronym faith. So literally the word faith, because to me, you know, castor oil packs, what they did is they brought back my faith in my body's ability to heal right? And so we use that acronym. F stands for function of digestion, absorption, and elimination. What comes in needs to be well absorbed and needs to be eliminated, right? What comes in must go out. Then the letter A for antioxidant status. You know, castor oil on its own is an amazing source of things like vitamin E, glutathione, which is a master antioxidant, right? So much goodness in castor oil is delivered. Then I stands for inflammation balance, right? Here we are. We, we don't want inflammation, but yet we do want a little bit of inflammation because inflammation is actually how the body heals. That's a natural gift that's been given to us. Inflammation. It's a fire that burns, but it should burn much like the burning bush consistently be burning, but we don't want it to burn too much, right? We want it to burn, but not over consume. We want it to burn and be that beautiful light, but not to over consume. And then of course, you know, tea, What's the letter T stand for? Tension and stress reduction. Stress along with inflammation are the two promoters of all conditions and all diseases. If you, at the bottom line, if you go look at any condition and if you want to break it down, you end up seeing two causative factors beyond, above, and, above and beyond everything else because they're foundational in how our body reacts and responds. And that is stress and that is inflammation. And so stress is the same thing. A little bit of stress is motivating, moving, gets us moving, gets us going. But too much stress is destructive exact same principle. We want that in balance. And the wonderful thing about castor oil packs is when you put them on your body, you actually start to create certain hormones. Oxytocin. Oxytocin is that love, that connection molecule, that one that we want so much of. And what the oxytocin does is it stimulates and reduces, it's, it, it stimulates our happiness, but reduces our stress 
in our system. So what an amazing pack. I'm just enamored and in love with my own packs, honestly. <laughs> honestly. And then H stands for host with the mostest. So we are hosting trillions of, of bacteria within our bodies. Hopefully they're the happy, healthy, life-promoting, life-giving bacteria. But in many cases, for many of us who are suffering and having challenges in our health, what happens is that it's the, the non-life-giving bacteria that is overwhelming our systems. So castor oil packs happen to be very exceptional at rebalancing our bacteria within our bodies and within our guts. So that is the absolute key. And this is why faith, you know, function, digestion, absorption, elimination, antioxidant status, inflammation, balance, tension, and stress reduction, host with the mostest. And when you set up all those five those five factors in your body, when they are set up right and they are balanced and the foundation is strong, well, then your health can flourish. You basically created a perfect environment for health to flourish in your system. And all with an inexpensive, easy to do, two minute routine at the end of the night, which is the castor oil pack. Literally, it is so simple. Like it is, you take the castor oil pack, the nice soft area, which is like organic cotton Sherpa. You take organic castor oil in a glass bottle, always in a glass bottle pour two tablespoons, blot it, and you place it on your right hand side, like this little model here, on your right hand side, and you wrap it around and you attach it and you go to bed. And that's it, so, so simple. And if you want to enhance it, what you do is you enhance it with our beauty sleep kit, which takes castor oil and plate, does the same thing, same principle, but over the eyes and uses an eye mask. So whenever you wear an actual eye mask to go to bed, you know, and you lather castor oil around your eyes, it helps to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, helps to reduce any dark age spots. You actually can put actual castor oil on your eyebrows and eyelashes and the castor oil beauty sleep kit comes with this. So you simply dip in the brush and place it on the eyebrows and eyelashes, helps them to grow. And then wearing this mask, it supports your natural melatonin production. Again, a wonderful antioxidant, super important for female hormonal health. As women age, your melatonin decreases, and with that, problems sleeping, problems with hormones. You know, melatonin is one of those amazing uh, supplements that I use with my, all my cancer patients. But I use it in a form of having them having their body create more of it naturally, just by wearing an eye mask at night. And so that's such an easy two minute routine that prepares you for a great night's sleep. And what you're gonna get out of it is better poops, better sleep, better cleansing, you get less bloating. So the next day you wake up with a flat belly and then you get less stress. So then you're ready to take on your day in such a well-balanced way. Such an incredible thing. Ah, it's yeah. and that's gonna really, that's why I wanted to have you on. Cause I've never, I have to be honest with you. I've never tried the, I, I, I every night sleep with eye blinders because awesome. sleep is one of the most important things for happiness. You know, people don't realize that, that the amount of sleep you get totally correlates, and they've done research on this, to how happy, how happy you are the following day. Yeah. But, sleep, but just putting the eye blinder on, but I didn't know, Dr. Marisol. I sort of had read some of your information, but I have never tried the eyebrows and the eyelashes. So at any age, you can improve your your eyelashes really? at any age at any age oh you know, my gosh women who have hormonal problems thyroid issue they start to get like a reduction and we start to lose our eyebrows towards the, the outside part of our eyebrows right and that's a big problem and of course we can pencil it in we can get you know microblading done we can have all those things done but what a benefit it is to get your own body to, to, to regrow and, and regenerate and you know resurrect that which should be right that is the power of it all like castor oil you know another name for castor oil is the palm of Christ, which is one of the reasons why I love it so much. You know, and if you think of the palm of Christ, the palm of Christ really delivered healing, you know, part of uh, uh, Jesus's job and all the disciples were to like heal, heal the sick and heal the poor. And they, they went around healing people, you know, leprosy and all types of conditions. And so it's the same thing, you know, that palm of Christ is the palm that heals the sick. And whether you're blind, whether whatever the case may be, right? Like it's, it, it's a healing oil in all aspects and it's, it's vegetarian, which is really nice for those people who are vegetarian as well too. Oh, I'm excited about the eyelashes. That would be I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, the eyebrows. and so many people I hear all the time, so many women, and there's other reasons as well. I mean, you have to do every, you know, there's so many areas that we need to take care of, but the fact that this can help are in, in a lot of ways, but the eyebrows, and what about the hair? There are people who are losing hair. 
Absolutely. Same, same way. We actually have a beautiful hair kit coming out very, very shortly where people just simply place a little bit of castor oil in the roots and the tips of their hair. You don't want to enrobe the entire hair. It's not necessary. Simply just, you know, massaging a little bit into the scalp and then you wear uh, basically like a sleep cap overnight in order to go to bed. And then that way it keeps your hair all in, the, in a great place and nice and growing and fruitful. That's incredible. The yeah. other interesting thing that I was reading about that I know that you promote is in the mouth because I do oil pulling and I found that I always use coconut oil. And what, what that is, is that you just take some of the oil and you swish it around in your mouth for maybe 10 minutes or in the morning. And they really found huge benefits. It's helped my teeth tremendously. But you're saying, I, I was reading that you've used this, you think it's actually better, the castor oil. Absolutely. There's great research in terms of periodontal medicine, which is, you know, all about the gums and keeping the mouth healthy and how it works better than conventional like mouthwashes and things that clean and, and rebalance the microbiome. So with castor oil for oil pulling, all you need is two minutes instead of the 20 minutes, which is traditionally oh, wow. used. Yep. Only two minutes. And you only need one to two teaspoons of castor oil. So you swish it around for one to two minutes and then you spit it out into a cup or into a container and then you throw it away. Yeah. So really, really amazing that that castor oil really has, you know, I, I love referencing the movie, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. It is uh, just such a classic movie in my mind. And I always think back to the father and how the father, you know, he had his favorite Windex. He put Windex on everything, <laughs> right? And to me, like my patients, when they come and see me, they're like, oh my gosh, Dr. Marisol, you just put like castor oil on everything. And honestly, it is, it is my staple. It is like bread, you know, like gluten-free bread for most of us. Um, <laughs> you know, it is the staple of my practice. It is a staple of my healthcare practice at home. It is a staple in my at-home pharmacy cabinet. You know, the first thing that we do, it's a staple. First thing I pack, first thing, it's the first thing I think of because I just know the enormous amount of benefit it does and how it isn't aggressive. It is soft. It is gentle. It heals. It rebalances. It brings back that which way, the way that it should be. Even in cases of things like scars, like acne scars on the face, scars post-surgery, you know, castor oil is one of the only oils that can actually break down scar tissues and, and make them new again flourish. Wow. This Powerful. is just so incredible. Yes. Yes. That's what I like. I really am one that if there are easy things that at least people can get started on and do yourself that are inexpensive, that can have so many health benefits. That's what I'm trying to share with everybody because awesome. you know, a lot of so many people, Dr. Marisol, and I know you know this as well, just think they have to live with it. Like constipation, oh, my whole family's constipated. We all have to live with it. Or that just people live, it's amazing. Even young people, I was talking to my nephew and who's in college, who now is, is not in college, who's just started working. And he was like, there's a, such a line to the, now, not now during COVID, but <laughs> when he was in person, he would say, all these young people in their 20s, there's such a line to the bath and everybody is having issues. And yeah. that is just so sad. And it's it's a true epidemic, you know, um, it's the 20% of the pop world's population deals with problems going to the bathroom, whether it's constipation or IBS. And in certain populations and cultures, for an example, you know, South Americans tend to deal, their, their statistics tend, or South American, Hispanic, their statistics are higher anywhere between like 21 to 25%. Asian tends to deal with it less. Could it be the food? We're not sure. But, you know, there's, there's such, and that's just only the people who reported being not feeling well. Because a lot of people, you know, when I was a youth, and I was in my times when I was very sick as a child. Like I, I didn't think that my bowels, there was a problem with it because to me it was my normal, right? So I thought going to the bathroom every three to four days was okay. When I had, you know, raging diarrhea, that was okay. It's normal. You know, so it, it, it takes time to understand and to know. And my, my whole goal with this is truly just to help people, you know, know thyself, you know, know herself. Like, like who, who are you? Like, like, what is it that makes you you? And, and how do you find you? How do you, how do you go deep and go internal, right? So how do, you, how do you figure that out? Wow. The other thing is two things, actually. In terms of the routine, let's just get back to that for a yeah. minute. Because so people, so it's a few minutes at night. That's all it takes. And then do you want to say your routine? 
Like yeah, just, yeah. Literally, I honestly like I I get into the bathroom. Well, at first I've changed. I put on my nightgown. <laughs> I get into the bathroom, and then I'll actually use castor oil to wash my face. So I'll steam a hot cloth. I will uh, da- uh, use a hot cloth all over my face just to kind of uh, surface wash things off. I'll put a dab of castor oil. I'll blot my hands and I'll blot it all over my face. And then I take that same same cloth. I re-steam it. You know, safe to the touch. And then I place it on my face and I wipe everything off. So that's how I wash my face. And I no need for a moisturizer or anything because castor oil will keep everything nice and moist. Yeah, it's really, really incredible. And then I put the castor oil around my eyes. I put, I use the, the spoolie brush and I place the castor oil on my eyebrows, my eyelashes. I always put the mask kind of on my head as a headband while I'm doing that, like washing my face. And then I literally take my castor oil pack. I pour two tablespoons, place it on my liver. I go do my thing in the toilet <laughs> and then I go to bed. And that's it. That's what I do every single night. That's kind of like my, my quickie nighttime routine. And whether I'm traveling, wherever I'm at, that's, that's how I do it. It's nice and simple. I'm all about simplicity. What I've always done is taken, you know, the old ancient therapies and just made them super simple to implement into life because I find that they are often the very best because number one, they're time honored. You know, there, there's a major truth to them because something that has been done for so long <clears throat> and honored, you know, there's, there, it's obviously not just true. It's truth. Like it's something that actually really deeply foundationally helps. So that, that's my goal with this. Right. And so that's why I just want to make it easy to implement in our modern day society, because, you know, sometimes things are wonderful, right. From the, the ancients, however, they are just not plausible in our day and age. So how do we take all those things and make it plausible in our day and age, right? Make it possible. Well, I have to really commend you because you did that with something that was messy prior to those packs. It, it's a, it was a messy thing with oh. the, and then some people use the plastic and it, oh. it, it's not easy. And I think, I think for that reason, a lot of people really stayed away. Yes, it's good to put on the liver, but how am I doing that? And what's the reality? So the fact that you took something and made it easy to do, I think is huge. And oh. th- thank you for that. Cause you're welcome. You, <laughs> I know you just help people all over the world. <laughs> and it's really, it's really wonderful. So while they're doing that, then they can do gratitude. They can do yeah. any of the practices yeah. that are so, so helpful. Journaling, like whatever your nighttime routine is, you know, I always, I I would have meditated before that. I usually at night I'll do an, uh, a, a, I'm very classical into St. Ignatius of Loyola's work. So I'll do an examine of my life. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do a prayer. I'll praise God. I'll examine my day. How did I do? What can I do better the next day? What's my commitment to myself? So I always do that as a way to kind of look at my life, you know, and re-examine and almost like rewrite, right? So if there's parts of my life that I didn't like, maybe how I acted, I'll rewrite how I could have acted. And, and, and then that'll be my memory that I'll remember. Because for me, like I, I'm, I'm a true believer of really working our minds and our souls and, and just how to be better in ourselves every day. Because life, you know, like, will something like a castor oil pack heal you or cure you? Well, it's not a cure because, you know, cures don't really exist. What exists is healing over time, right? And healing is an active process that we each need to be very involved in. And healing happens with small little micro changes, right? And those micro changes happen in our mind, in our bodies, in our souls, in our spirit. It's not just only on the physical level. So we have to work all of these different levels in order to have true, like what's known as true healing. And you know, castor oil packs are just simply a part of that. It's foundational for the physical body, right? And there's also, castor oil is also known, it's, you know, there's a lot of anointing practices over <clears throat> over our generations, over the eons and over the centuries. And anointment is a, a, a very ancient practice of healing, right? Because anointment is something that connects us body, mind, and soul and spirit. So I love that aspect of, of castor oil as well too, right? That that anointing practice is about really reconnection. I also think when you're doing this process, you're sort of saying to your liver, liver, I love you. Yeah. you know, whatever you're putting, eyebrows, face, you're just appreciating your body and what you have. And I think that in itself, just giving gratitude is, yeah. is so very helpful and also increases your happiness and just overall well-being. I love that. I love that. I'm going to use that. I'm going to think about it like that as well too, because you're right. You're no, you, it's appreciation, right? There's, it is. There's, 
nothing better than appreciation and, you know, reverence and rejoicing for that which we've been given. And when you do take the time to just self care, well, you're, you're appreciating your body and who you are, right? Beautiful. And it's true. And what you appreciate, appreciate. So things will get better. Yes. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> so I have another thing that I think you're famous for, and just maybe to share with people, because you really teach that you can use your poops as a way of monitoring your health. And I think most people don't even think about it. You know, they go to the bathroom. It's just not something they connect with and realize that yeah, they can use it as a monitor what's going on. So maybe share some of that with us. Yeah. As I said, you know, my whole goal is for people to, to know thyself, right? Like know yourself intimately because truly when it, from my experience, we each need to be our own best advocate wherever we are in life, whether, you know, we're in the hospital or with a doctor, we need to be able to express ourselves clearly, communicate what's going on in our body. You know, my biggest challenge with patients was that they, they just couldn't communicate. They didn't even know what was happening in their body. You know, how can a doctor, you know, an outside person who's not living their experience, how can they how can they help them if they if the person themselves does, doesn't have an understanding of their own experience so my whole goal is for people to you know poop uh, not only poop of course I know poop very very well but other things as well too to understand you know what their experience and what that is telling them about their experience because to me you know the body is such a mystery for so many people and it has so many lovely little love letters that you have to decipher and codes you know like so it's about understanding the codes and in poop there's so many different codes there's actually you know like 11 golden nuggets about what your stools say about you you know all these different things from frequency to the color of your stools to how if it sinks or if it floats to how you wipe you know one of my absolute favorites in the understanding of stools and, and what it says about you is how you wipe so for many people you know we wipe many many times and the, you know the stool is very sticky on the paper but the actual ideal should be that you should wipe once and it should wipe clean and so if it doesn't wipe clean, then that's a sign of multiple things such as, you know, food sensitivities, inflammation in the gut, stress in the gut, possibly also microbiome issues as well. So just a one little sign, one little thing that takes one little second to look at and understand. And you can read, you can, you can read into that four things that you could go and, you know, investigate and see what happens. Is your stools, you know, the end all be all? Well, no, of course, but it is an excellent starting point for people to have a better understanding of who they are. And is there any place, I know your book would yes. be, yes, that's yes. a great place to start. Yes, that's yes. wonderful. Yes. Yeah, so my book, my, it's just, it's just released. Oh shit. It's an amazing book. And it, it, what it is, is it's truly a step into understanding how to really connect the body. So, you know, connecting with sleep, connecting to the gut, connecting to what the messages are saying to you. And then of course, you know, cleaning and doing a little bit of a cleanse, you know, identifying things like food sensitivities. What are the things that we need to like, you know, remove or prune out of our lives. And then of course, you know, living in that calmness and that, that quietude that helps you to constantly heal over time and having periods of the calm in your life, right? Because we can't go 24 seven in the noise. We need to add in that calm more and more and more. I love that. It's a great book, by the way. Thank I, you. I, it, 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 didn't, it just came out, when did I read it? Just recently. Yeah, very, very recently. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Good for you though, because you Thank really you. do describe, you know, in way more detail, a lot of the things that that we're talking about. Absolutely. But what's nice is that you bring that out into the conversation, you know, look at your poops. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Because it's just, it's just, I was actually shocked in clinical practice how many people didn't look at their stools and didn't know about their body and didn't look at themselves. And you really do like, you want to become an active wire in your life, right? Like you want to be that peeping Tom. You really do. Cause you know, it's, it's also, there's a, an entire principle about this in physics known as metacognition, you know? So it's almost like you're stepping out of yourself and you're seeing what's happening. Because when you do that, you can take a good analysis, right? And when you take that good analysis, well, then you could share with a practitioner, you know, you, you become empowered in who you are. It's beautiful. Oh, I love that. I'm big into empowerment. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so are there any other tips you want to share with everybody for their think, happiness? Is there anything else that you think? Because I know, I know just the castor oil could significantly, yeah. that, that's, it's amazing. Oh, is there, I have a question though. Is there anyone that needs to be aware? Is there anyone that this would be contraindicated with? 
Yes, castor oil packs should not be used for those who are pregnant. Okay. Um, there's very specific reasons why. You know, castor oil is actually used to induce labor when the baby is late, um, so or like post term. So, castor oil packs not to be used in pregnancy. Other than that, they're safe for the entire family, including women who are breastfeeding. They're just a really excellent addition to any type of protocol um, in the body. Again, because it establishes that foundation. And you know, on your question, if there's other things that I love for people to do, one of the things I, I'm a, a big fan about, and I, I did this as well too, is I actually packaged a, a beautiful spray called Eau de Throne. And the reason I did this, it's such a, a fabulous smell. Let me just take it in. Mm. Um, it's lavender, clove, uh, rosemary, and lemon. In, so the, the, the flavor of citrus. And the, 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 the reason for this is that, you know, our body, there's so many ways to enter the body and to get into connection and communion with the body. Um, essential oils are a great, great tool. They're also very calming, especially these, these ones in, in Oda Throne. They're calming, they're gut healing, and they're also antiviral and antimicrobial. So very important to have that type of an aspect because essential oils just make us feel good. You know, they stimulate the neurology. They just make us feel good in our bodies. So I often recommend for patients after, after they, they go to the bathroom to spray eau de throne. It's like known as the after you poo perfume, but also anytime that you need like a <laughs> spiritual lift, you know, get a little spiritual lift with essential oils. They just really, really do wonders. And the more that you can find yourself in elevated emotions, you know, at that frequency, instead of being into eroding motion, at a lower frequency. Well, obviously, if you're more in elevated emotions and you do things to move you into elevated emotions, well, then you're going to be a happier person and you're going to live a lot better. It's just common sense knowledge. And one other little quick thing that people can do that is so simple to implement into their lives, you know, I've created a little bracelet known as the Grateful Dung Bracelet, if you can see it. So it's basically a little beetle, cute little beetle. It's a, a black onyx, Swarovski element with uh, tiger's eye. And it's very specific, obviously, to gut health. You know, these stones are very good for first and third chakra. Again, the solar plexus and the root chakra. And what I love to tell patients to do all the time is this, is that they basically hold on to the little beetle and they say three things that they're grateful for. Again, what you appreciate, appreciates. I love that. <laughs> and do this right before a meal. Because if you add a little bit of gratitude, an attitude of gratitude before a meal, what it does is this is it moves your body into those elevating emotions. You feel better, your body's calm and, and relaxed. In those eroding emotions, you're stressed, you're anxious, it's not, not very good feelings. But when you're in the calm state and then you have a meal, my gosh, your digestion improves, everything in your body and your life improves exponentially. So just, you know, very important thing that I want to emphasize with people that they can add into their beautiful lives. And that would really give them an entire other level in their health and in their wellness. Oh, I love both of them. It's really interesting because I'm big into essential oils and to ah. me, lavender, I love all of the ones that are in that. But lavender, just if I ever can't go to sleep, I just have some lavender. And, but it's very relaxing. And so many people that I've worked with have had, it really, if you're feeling stressed, there's all, you know, I'm big into breathing and physical things, but it really helps you know, by you know, the olfactory system. And just breathing in is amazing. So it's really interesting, your twist on this stuff. First of all, we didn't explain what the throne is. Do you want to tell people yes. what, what the throne, what you're, you're the queen of the throne. Just maybe just talk about that because people are listening may not know you and realize what this throne is. Yeah. So, so it's funny because it actually has two meanings. So I'm a firm believer of us all owning our throne in life, that we are all kings, queens, you know, we just need to pull this out of ourselves. We need to shine the light. We need to understand that, you know, the map isn't outside of us. The map is inside of us. You know, we, we do know the way, the best way for ourselves. We just need to learn how to actually be able to read that map. That's the thing that's challenging us. So truly the, the, as I'm the queen of the thrones is about that because I want everyone to own their thrones. But on the other end, there's a little flip side to the throne because the throne is also another name for toilet, right? So <laughs> it's a, it's a good little, you know, dichotomy about, you know, owning your throne, you know, the, the world is your oyster. And then of course, you know, it's a little bit of a, yes, it's your potty time. You want to own your potty time as well. Too. And then the spray, it's so interesting because so many, you'll be in a bathroom and they have these toxic sprays that yes. are completely full of chemicals that are going to, that can really have negative effects on all aspects of your health. You, people don't realize that. Oh, let's just spray a little. So the fact that you have this really amazing essential oils 
that can, and then also, you know, you're taking a break, you yes. know, and it's just, you can take some breaths, whatever you want to do. And then the smell to add that piece to it. I love that. The impact of, yes. of uh, for me, everything's about ritual right? The impact of, of, of engaging all the senses, right? The impact of engaging the skin sense when it's doing a castor oil pack, the impact of engaging, you know, all factories, the impact of engaging your mind with a little gratitude practice. These, these are the things that are transformative in health and wellness. And, you know, I've seen it because I've seen that, you know, supplements, they're wonderful. They're great. We all need to take them. However, you know, supple, you can't supplement a, an excessive amount of inflammation or super amounts of stress. You can't supplement that and Enough. There's no way you would ever get dosages that are high enough that will actually balance out your stress. It's an impossibility, and I've seen that over time. But ritual, adding in things that you know elevate your emotions, practicing elevating emotions, practicing things like mantras, taking time internally, understanding yourselves, taking that moment extra to just inspect your your stools. That's time for you even though it's a dirty job, you know, someone does have to do it, but it's, 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 it's a, it's a thing, same thing, you know, right? Like the, the, what we, the, 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 what we do, well, how we do one thing is how we do everything. And my goal is to really train and teach people how to, how to, how to rethink that in their health. Wow. Well, you've done a great job of that. The one other thing that I wanted to say, I always teach this 30 second micro pause. And I think just what you said, you have to break up the stress in your day. It's absolutely essential for every area of your health. But the, I'm thinking how wonderful this would be. You know, you take, and I, I teach people anything they want internally. So easily, you just go to the bathroom, you take some breaths, you do a little spray, and you're good to go. That's yes. great. Simple, as simple, well, simple. As well as just the rubbing with the castor oil. Yeah. Oh, so we could talk. I love all of these. This is so great. And I'm, I'm, I have a whole bunch of new things now. I'm going to, um, I'm going to try. I awesome. Love yeah. Sounds so, so exciting. But I, I, I is there anything else before we end? Because you've just given so many great tips. and Truly just, you know, for every single person out there listening, wherever you are at, I, I hear your pain. I understand it. And just realize it is, it, is, it, is, it is a good journey. It's worth it. Our pain connects us to our ultimate purpose and our passion. And it's our pain also dissipates over time and actually becomes pleasurable because it actually shows us and guides us. And so it's just about learning how to work with it better and understanding yourself. So you are the light. You can illuminate yourself from within. It is just a matter of time and practice. And, and if people want to follow me, you can find me at queen of the thrones on Instagram, or I have a wonderful YouTube channel with excellent videos. And again, that's queen of the thrones, Dr. Marisol on YouTube. And our website is Dr. Marisol www.drmarisol.com d-r-m-a-r-i-s-o-l and i also have the link to all of your Perfect. products will be right below this interview so people awesome. can try this really and and see and i'd love to hear how it's going yeah really right away once they put it on they'll feel the relaxation and so that's what's so it's it, as i said easy tweaks that can be life-changing and elevate your happiness so thank you thank you so much it's always such a pleasure I feel this great energy. Aww. And thank you for joining me on this journey. So it's, thank so you much. so much for having me, Margie. It's just such a wonderful pleasure to be with you. Oh, Love. thanks again. I hope you've enjoyed my interview with Dr. Marisol as much as I have. And now have a better understanding about castor oil and how you can use it to improve your health. For me, I'm going to try it on my eyebrows and my eyelashes. So all the links that Dr. Marisol talked about will be in the show notes. So bye for now. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.